Well, Corey moves from left to right. The Tigers from right to left, as we watch it for you, is Nate Aljo. The junior will go up against the senior, Scott Hondel, to get things going. Ball is straight up, and the tap is finally controlled by Tech as both players went up, but the ball hadn't come down yet. This is lateral with it up on top. Picked up his dribble, bounces it on the right wing where it's caught by Inkster. Down low to Weber. Weber in the paint, kicks it out to lateral. On the baseline now to Aljo. Aljo dribbles in, in traffic, and he travels. He was double teamed down low by Scott Hondo and Kip Barbie. They held their ground, and Aljo traveled for the first turnover of the ballgame. Now we've got uh, something on the floor. One of the officials picks it up and puts it in his pocket. 15 seconds in, scoreless here in Cold Spring, and Kip's Barbie will bring it into the forecourt for Ricori. Barbie across the line on the left-handed ping pong, bounces it on the left wing, caught by Krause. Three-pointer, long off the bracket, and the long rebound is pulled down by lateral for Tech. Steve pushes it ahead on the right side for Zook, got Barbie off his feet with the fake, penetrates in, tries to dump it across the lane. It's out of bounds, last touch by the Tigers that will go over to Ricori. Zook got himself in deep trouble down in the paint, didn't have anything to do with it, and he fished it off and it went uh, out of bounds. Now Hondel has it down low to the baseline. He hangs in the air, he banks it in, and he was fouled. That's the first foul of the game on either team, and Hondel, who's averaging just under 19 points a game, will be at the line to try to complete the three-point play. Free throw is up, and it is no good, and the rebound is pulled down by Weber for Tech. Ahead the lateral and further into the forecourt now to Zook. Up on top with it is Inkster. The foul, by the way, was on Kelly Weber. Weber has it in the high post, kicks it out for Inkster. He penetrates in. 13-footer on the run is good. Ben Inkster, who had his tonsils out about four weeks ago, first two points of the ballgame for Tech, and we're tied at two into about a minute into the ballgame here at Wakori. Krause on the right wing. Across the arc for Hondel. Three-pointer, switch. Scott Hondel has all five or four points, and the Spartans lead it five to two. Spartans with a little bit of zone half-court pressure now. Tech comes across the line. Lateral has it up on top. Bounce pass. High post caught by Weber. Back to lateral. 23-footer is good for three. Steve Lateral answers with the three, and we're tied at five with six and a half minutes remaining here in the first quarter. Barbie on the left wing for Hemish. Feed down low to Hondel, and they're going to call the foul on Hondel for pushing off as he received the entry pass. Hondel pushed off to get open in the post. That is his first, first and a half on the Spartans. Pressure in the backcourt now as Ricori comes out in a 2-1-2 zone full court press. Inkster will inbound on the baseline. He gets it into lateral, back to Inkster. Back to lateral. They're still in the backcourt about halfway up. Now Zook gets it. I had the lateral. They're still in the backcourt. They'll have to hurry. Zook, finally the lateral in the forecourt. They broke that one fairly easily. They didn't hurry, and they just took their time. Inkster, right wing. Now lateral reverses to Zook on the left wing. To lateral, back to, Zook, to Inkster on the right wing. Looks inside. Now dribbles to the baseline. Stops there. Kicks it out to lateral. Fakes the long three. One dribble into the key area. Picked it up and needs help, and he dumps it off to Zook. Now back to lateral on the right wing for Inkster. Ricori's in a 2-3 zone on this trip down the floor. Zook into the corner for Inkster. He looked at the three, didn't take it, bounces high post to Weber, feeds down low to Aljo, and he banks it in. What a high post, low post look. Nate Aljo has two, and Tech has their first lead at 7-5. to five. Barbie has it up on top on the dribble on the right wing now for Kraus. Kraus picked up his dribble up on top, feeds it left wing to Barbie. His three-pointer is good. The junior's averaging 11.5 a, a ball game, his first three of the game, 8-7 with Corey by one. Now Zook into the forecourt on the left wing for the Tigers. Feeds it up on top. Now right wing for Inkster. Driving in over Sparby. Shot won't go, and he's going to be called for the offensive foul as he knocks Sparby to the floor. It's Inkster's first personal, the second on the Tigers in the half. Kip Sparby had good position to draw that foul. Sparby feeds it on the left wing now for Kraus. He goes across the key to Wayne Schreiner, who's got it in the high post. Takes one dribble, kicks it out to Sparby on the wing. Kip spinning on the dribble, dumps it on the baseline to Hondo. Hondo, one dribble, 18-footer is good. He got the ball about 15 feet away. He backed out on the one dribble and then canned the jumper. He has seven points, and the Spartans lead at 10-7. That's their biggest lead of the ballgame, biggest lead by either team. Up on top of it now is lateral. He feeds it on the left wing for Zook. Now out to Inkster. His three-pointer is good, and we're tied again. Inkster has five points. 
And now a whistle, and though the net on the other end got hung up with Inkster's three-pointer. Four and a half minutes remaining here in the first quarter, and we're tied at 10. Neither team bashful about putting the ball up early on in this one. You gotta want to go, you gotta want to fight, you gotta want to win. Now Sparby with it, comes across the line on the dribble for the Spartans. Goes on the left wing for Hamish, it was tipped away by Inkster, and then his pass was tipped out of bounds by Hamish, and so Tech causes the turnover. Good anticipation by Inkster to cut that pass off to Hamish on the wing. Now lateral will come into the forecourt on the dribble for Tech being hounded by Kraus. Into the corner now for Inkster. He feeds down low for Weber. Kick out for Inkster. It was tipped away by Schreiner out of bounds. It will stay with Tech. The Tigers have done a good job of being patient on offense trying to free somebody up for the open jumper. Neil Fish is going to check in at the next whistle now for Tech. <clears throat> Bounce pass on the left wing now caught by Zook. He feeds it back out on top for Inkster. High post for Weber, working against Barbie. Kick out for lateral, 23-footer. That one's long off the iron, but the long rebound is loose on the floor, and it's tied up finally by Krauss and Weber, and it will go to Rattori on the alternate possession. Five foot 11 inch senior Neil Fish in now, the first sub of the game for either team. He's in for Tech, replacing Ben Inkster. On the left wing with it is Hemish for the Spartans. Feeds down low for Sparby. Move on the baseline. Wraparound pass for Schreiner. Seven-footer is good. Sparby drew all kinds of traffic. He wrapped it around to Schreiner, who hit the jumper. 12-10, Rattori by two. Three and a half minutes remaining here in the first quarter. Zook has it on the left wing. Bounces it down low for Aljo. Move on Hondo. The shot was rejected by Scott, and the rebound comes down to Sparby. That's block number one for Scott Hondo. Hondel has it on the left wing, kicks it out for Sparby, fakes the three, penetrate in, kick it out to Kraus. Now to Hondel, three-pointer is no good. It rimmed off. Hamish rebound, put back won't go. Bodies all over on the floor. Kraus got the rebound and banged it in. Hamish kept it alive. Kraus was the beneficiary. Spartans with their biggest lead of the ball game at 14-10. Now running through the lane with the jumper is Adam Zook, but he traveled as he tried to penetrate in from the wing. Turnover on Tech, and Rattori controls the ball with a four-point lead with three minutes remaining here in the first quarter. Sparby has it up on top. He feeds on the left wing now for Hamish. Now down low, Sparby, 17-footer from the baseline. Won't go, and the rebound is pulled down by the Tigers. Pushing it into the forecourt now is lateral. Up on top, he stops the dribble, feeds it to, F to Fish. Now it's from Weber to Fish, and Neal traveled as he put it on the floor. Went from the high post back to Fish out on top and he took the extra step before he put the dribble down. And Rattori will inbound in the backcourt after the turnover. Sparby has it and he'll bring it across the timeline for the Spartans. 15-3 and three on the season, 7-2 and two in league play. A half a game ahead of Apollo. Apollo is playing Wilmer tonight. Now Hondel in the forecourt, 12-footer is good. Hondel is 4 of 5 from the field. He has 9 points in the ballgame, and Rattori leads it 16-10. Lateral has it up on top, bounces it right side for Fish. He feeds it up on top for Zook. Adam Zook looks inside, can't find anybody, takes one dribble and feeds across the key to lateral. Now down low, Aljo. Hondel blocked it. Aljo got it back, and he put it in. Aljo has 4 points in the ballgame. 16-12, Rattori on top by 4. Credit Aljo for hanging in there and battling on that one. On the right wing now with it is Kraus. Cross court for Hondel. His three-pointer, short off the iron. Sparby came up off the floor to get the rebound and keep it alive for Latore. He tried to feed it for Schreiner. Wayne got it back, had it tipped away by Zook. Here's a chance for Tech. Zook can't control, finally catches up with it, feeds it to Fish. Fish handed it off to Weber, and he missed the shot, but he was followed by Sparby. Well, I'm not exactly sure what happened there. That was a disjointed fast break by the Tigers off the turnover, and at the line to shoot will be Kelly Weber. Now Adam Zook will sit down as Ben Engster comes back in for Tech and Gabe Dahl and Eric Boucher will both check in for Rakori replacing Joe Hemish and Jim Krause. The foul was Sparby's first, second and a half on the Spartans and Weber misses the first free throw, he'll get one more opportunity. Now another change as Joe Courier is going to come into the ball game for Tech. He's a six foot three inch senior and he'll replace Nate Aljo who's playing with that very heavily bandaged left hand. 
Free throw is up, and the second one rims in. So Weber has his first point of the ball game. 16-13, Ricori by three with a minute and a half remaining here in the first quarter. Now dribbling on the right wing is Dahl. He bounces it to Sparby. Cross court for Handel. Handel has it outside the arc on the left side. Takes one dribble, feeds it on the right side for Boucher. Boucher trying to drive against Fish, brings it back out on the dribble, goes left side for Handel. Now to Schreiner, low post, turn around. <laughs> Wayne Schreiner has four points, and the Spartans lead at 18-13. Got it blocking out down low. Go, that's his second, and that's three and a half now on Ricori. Up on top with it is Inkster. He starts it down past everybody. He, laid it. he blew past Wayne Schreiner up on top. Inkster has seven. Tech pulls to within three at 18-15 with 55 seconds now remaining in the quarter. Sparby has it on the left wing outside the arc for the Spartans. Feeds it up on top for Boucher. Man-to-man -to -man defense for the Tigers. Boucher goes on the right side for Dahl. Couldn't get Hondo cutting across the lane. Now to Boucher, and he reverses it to Sparby. Kip has it on the left wing. Now he'll bring it back up on top. 35 seconds remaining in the quarter. Hondo in the corner for Boucher. 18-footer is long off the bracket, and a battle for the rebound, and it tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Gabe Dahl, and so it will stay with Tech. With 30.3 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Let's see if the Tigers go for one here. I would imagine they will go for one shot. On the left wing with it is Fish. 21, 20, Leaves it up on top for Inkster. He almost lost control of it, but got it back. Now up on top for Lateral with 14 seconds remaining. So the Tigers definitely going for one. Fish has it outside the arc with 10 seconds on the clock. Now feeds it back to Lateral. Down low for Weber. Up top for Inkster. Right side Fish. Three-pointer is good. Neil Fish with the trade. And time expires in the quarter. Tatias at 18. End of the first day. We'll look back to a key moment in the 1988 state championship season. Check with the ball as we open up the second quarter, tied at 18. Neil Fish tying it with a three-pointer at the buzzer. Now down low with it is Courier, and his shot is rejected out of bounds by Scott Handel. That's three blocks in the game already for Handel. Check will inbound into Fish in the corner. He's working on Hamish, dribbles it back up on top. Tech playing a very disciplined ball game so far. Lateral bounces it down low. Back out to lateral, but he had it taken away by Hamish. He feeds Handel on the break. They're two on three. Handel penetrating right side. Stop. Ten-footer on the run, and it bounced in. It hit the rim, went off the glass, and down. 20-18, to 18, Ricori on top by two. On the left wing now, Inkster. He backs it out on the dribble, feeds it up on top for lateral. Back to Inkster. Down low it goes to... Aljo, his shot over Honda is good. Aljo has six points, and we're tied at 20. Now Dahl brings it across the line on the dribble. Feeds it on the left wing for Hamish. Joe looks inside, can't find anybody, and feeds it up on top for Schreiner. Now left wing Boucher. He stands on the arc, feeds it to Honda up on top. Three-pointer is no good. Rebound tapped up, kept alive, tapped up again. Finally loose on the floor, tapped out of bounds. Last touch by Tech. It will stay with Ricori. Way to go, Pooch! Way to get in there! I think the Spartans might have gotten a break there. It looked like a lot of red shirts around the ball, but they maintain possession underneath their own basket. It'll be Dahl, inbounds it to Hemish. His three-pointer is good. Joe Hemish with the three off the inbound, his first three of the ball game. The Spartans now with three threes in the game. Tech also has three trays. 23-20, Ricori by three. In the forecourt now, up on top with it is Lateral. Right wing to Fish. He lobs it back up on top where it's caught by Inkster. In the corner for Lateral. Now up on top for Inkster. Back to Lateral on the wing. He'll launch a three. Short off the rim, and the rebound is pulled down by Handel, and then he's fouled from behind by Neil Fish. That's a silly foul in the backcourt by Neil. The first on him, three and a half on the Tigers. And an inbound coming now. As Gordy Brown is going to check into the ball game for Tech. And he will replace Neil Fish. Brown did not play against Cambridge last night. Some in-house disciplinary actions. Of course, he's a great three-point shooter. Mike Carlson now, the sophomore, will check in for Ricori, replacing Eric Boucher. 6.20 remaining first half. 23-20, Ricori on top by three. Now into the forecourt on the left wing with it is Hamish. 
He feeds it across the top of the arc to Schreiner. One dribble, 17-footer off the bounce is short. Hondo kept it alive, but the rebound is out of bounds and last touch by Cap. It went off the hands of Joe Courier out of bounds. It was kept alive by Hondo and the Spartans will maintain possession. Inbound now to Hamish in the corner. One dribble, runner off the glass is good. Joe Hamish had it outside the arc, took one dribble and put up the runner from about 13. He has five points all here in the second quarter and the Spartans lead it by five. They've scored five in a row. Lateral has it up on top, feeds it over to Brown on the right wing. Back to Lateral, over to Ingster. Three-pointer, that one's no good and the rebound is tapped out to Hamish. I had the Hondo on the break, now a wraparound gives it back to Hamish. Hondo got down too low, he was double teamed and he fed it to the trailer Hamish. Seven points here in the quarter for Hemish, and the Spartans lead at 27-20. That was a good look by Hondo. Now he steals the pass, it's showtime. Hondo on the break, and he laid it in. Hondo may have lost a little control of it. Nine in a row for Ricori. Timeout cap, 5-15 remaining first quarter. Ricori scoring nine in a row. Seven of those by Joe Hemish. Hondo now has 13 points. Hemish with seven all in this quarter. And Tech taking the timeout with Ricori on top, 29-20. Tigers in the ball in the forecourt now with it against the 2-3 zone, and it was tipped away by Carlson, and Dahl comes away with it. Back the other way, the Spartans had it tipped away. It's saved by Gordy Brown off of Mike Carlson out of bounds, and Tech will come away with it. Nice hustle by Gordy Brown. He was involved in the fracas that lost the ball, and he hustled down to get it back for the Tigers. On the right wing now, Brown up on top lateral, left side for Inkster. Lateral against that 2 3 zone, bounces it on the right side, caught by Brown. Three pointer is no good, but Inkster came down with a long rebound. Started to penetrate in, and then he had it tipped away by Carlson. The doll back to Carlson into the forecourt. McCory playing pretty good defense, batting at the ball, and so far they're getting away with it with no whistles. Dahl on the left wing to Carlson. Now Carlson feeds it in the corner for Hondel. Three pointer, that one short, backside rebound to Dahl, but they're going to call Gabe for pushing off. Gabe with a little shove to get that backside rebound. His first personal. That's four and a half now on Ricori. Tech will inbound in the backcourt with 4.22 remaining in the half. Neil Fish will check back in now for Tech, replacing Ben Inkster. So it's Fish, Lateral, Zook, Brown, and Aljo on the floor for Tech. And for Ricori, it's Handel, Schreiner, Hemish, Carlson, and Dahl. My apologies, it's not Zook. It's Kelly Weber out there. High post for Fish, up on top now for Lateral with 4.10 remaining in the half. Now Fish will launch a three from up top. That one's long, rebound tapped up and it's controlled by Hemish. He feeds to Gabe Dahl, Dahl into the forecourt on the right wing. Stops up there, his pass was almost tipped away but Carlson got it, bounces it in the corner to Hemish. Joe on the baseline, lost it, had trouble with it, it's out of bounds, last touch by Hemish, it will go over to Tech. Pretty good defense by Nate Aljo on the baseline to cause that turnover by Ricori. Weber will inbound, he gets it into lateral. No pressure by the Spartans as they drop back into that 2-3 zone. On the left wing now for Brown, up on top lateral, high post Weber, bounces left side for Gordy Brown. Looks at the three, doesn't take it, feeds it down low for Aljo, now up on top for lateral to Brown, three is good. If Gordy Brown gets it going, he can light him up with the best of them. That's his first three of the ball game. 29-23, Ricori by six. That stems the tide of nine in a row scored by the Spartans. Hamish has it in the key area. His 15-footer won't go. Rebound loose on the floor. Weber couldn't control it. It's out of bounds, and it will stay with Ricori. Now Sparby back in, replacing Carlson for Ricori. 3.21 remaining in the half. 29-23, Spartans by six. Ricori's next action will be a week from tomorrow when they take on the number one team in the state in AA, Minneapolis North, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Schreiner down low. Turn around from the baseline off the inbound is good. McCory is shooting very well in this ballgame. Schreiner has six points, 31-23, Spartans by eight. Now into the ballgame for the first time for Tech with it up on top is Chris McGrew, a 5-foot, 10-inch junior. On the right side now, Fish, his runner from seven won't go, but the rebound is pulled down by Weber. Put back from five, rimmed in. <laughs> Kelly Weber has three points in the ballgame, 31-25. Other end, Hamish for two as he stepped on the arm. Looks like it might have been a three, but he stepped on the arc as he took it. Joe Hemish has nine points, all of them here in the second quarter. 
and it's 33-25. McGrew has it up on top. Feeds on the left wing now for Brown. Right side for Fish. Back up on top for McGrew. High post, Aljo, kick out for Fish. Now up on top, McGrew. He looks at the three, doesn't take it. Feeds Brown, his three. Rimmed out, and the rebound is pulled down by Handel. Three on two break. Handel, starting it in. Set a step dribble. Skip from behind by Weber. The ball goes out of bounds. It will stay with Ricori. The Spartans wanted to foul call on Weber as Handel went to the floor. Into the corner now on the inbound to Hemish. Barbie fed it in there, up on top for Dahl. Left side's Barbie. He goes cross court for Hemish, outside the arc. They work the perimeter against the zone. Over to Sparby, three pointer. That one won't go and the rebound is pulled down by Fish. Neal cleans the boards for the Tigers and brings it into the forecourt on the dribble. Two minutes remaining first half, 33-25. Ricori on top by eight. Bounce pass right side. Caught by McGrew. His pass, I believe, was tipped by Hemish. I'm not sure if it was tipped or not. Goes all the way into the backcourt and out of bounds, and it will go to Ricori. It was not tipped. Good job, Scotty. Ball was thrown away. Hondo will take a break now, presumably for the rest of the half, with a minute 49 remaining. And Eric Boucher will check back in for the Spartans. Now Jim Krause will also come back in. He'll replace Gabe Dahl. A seven-man rotation for the Spartans, and Schreiner will inbound from the baseline. In it comes to Sparby, and he'll bring it up on top to reset for Ricori. Left side for Hamish, three-pointer. That one rimmed out. Boucher got the rebound, put back good. Eric Boucher's first two points of the ball game, and Ricori has their biggest lead by 10 at 35-25. McGrew on the left wing now for Brown, up on top for McGrew. It was tipped away by Hamish, and they're going to get for the foul. He got tangled up in the arms of Chris McGrew. That's Hemish's first. Just the fifth and the half on Ricori. Tech has been whistled for only three, so we're a long way away from the bonus with just a minute 28 remaining in the half. McGrew has it up on top between the circles against the 2-3 zone. Left side for Brown. Kraus is out on him. Now McGrew, right side for Fish. He looks inside. He still can't find anybody. Feeds it up on top for Brown. Back to Fish on the wing. Cross court for McGrew. He'll launch the three over Kraus, and it's done. Chris McGrew hits the three. 35-28. On the right wing now for Kraus. Feeds it down low for Schreiner. Schreiner was fouled as he penetrated in by Weber. He got the shot off, but I don't think they're going to make it a shooting foul. And they're going to call the foul, I believe. I'm not sure on who. Scott Henches is going to check in for the first time for Tech, replacing Neil Fish. The foul will go against Weber. That's his second. Fourth and a half on Tech. They do rule it on the drive and an inbound for the Spartans. 56 and a half seconds remaining here in the half. In the Kraus, fakes the three. Got off his feet, fed it down low for Sparby. He missed the shot as it was deflected away. And Weber comes away with it for the Tigers. Henches brings it into the forecourt on the dribble. Left side now for Brown. Three-pointer is good. Gordy Brown has half a dozen on a couple threes, and it's down to a four-point lead now. Six in a row scored by Tech. Sparby lobs it down low for Schreiner. Kick out for Sparby. I believe the Spartans will go for one here. We're under a half a minute to play in the half. Hemish has it on the left wing. High post pass for Schreiner was tipped away by Weber, and Kelly just threw his third personal. Weber's third personal, five and a half now on Tech. Inbound coming for Ricori. 24.8 seconds remaining in the half. That's five in this 16 minutes on Tech. Inbound coming now as Sparby will inbound underneath the basket. Lobs it up on top, caught by Boucher. Kraus has it. 20 seconds remaining in the half as the Spartans will go for the final shot. Sparby has it up on top, 15 seconds. Right side Hamish up on top now for Sparby. Looks inside, can't find anybody. Lobs it on the left wing for Kraus. Down to 10 seconds remaining. Kraus got in trouble. Lobs it up on top for Sparby. Six seconds on the clock. Left wing for Kraus. Down to four seconds. They've got to hurry. Right side, Hennish. His three-pointer won't go. The Spartans didn't get a good shot. We've reached the end. Of Unfortunately, we're not going to have an opportunity to hear that interview with Jerry Sparby. Maybe we'll hear some pieces as we go on here. Back to the action. The Spartans open up with the ball, and Scott Hondel gets a 12-footer in the paint. He has 15 points now, and the Spartans lead at 37-31 for about 40 seconds into the second half. Up on top with it for Tech now is Inkster. Right side for Lateral. Back up on top, Inkster, and back to Lateral. Lateral brings it up on top against that 2-1-2 zone now as Schreiner has kind of stepped up in the middle of it. 
2-1-2-2-3-3-2. It depends on where Schreiner lines up playing in the middle. Ball down low now. It's loose on the floor. It was tipped away, and Jimmy Cross comes away with it for Ricori. He pushes it ahead to Sparby, up on top between the circles in the forecourt. Left side for Kraus. Now back to Sparby, right side Hamish. Back to Sparby, to Kraus. Down low for Schreiner on the baseline. Ran into traffic there and feeds it out to Kraus. Now to Sparby. He fakes the three-pointer on the dribble into the corner for Kraus. Kraus has it up on top now for Sparby. Right side for Hamish. Down low for Schreiner. Made the move on the baseline. Wrap around way up. Oh, what a strong move by Wayne Schreiner. He got to the baseline and just kept going. He has eight points. 39-31 with Corey on top by eight. They've scored four in a row here to open up the half. Inkster feeds it up on top for Weber. Kicks it out for lateral. Back to Inkster. Travel to be put it on the floor. No call, and he hits the runner from 10. Ben Inkster has nine points in the ballgame. That's, that's a difficult call for the official, but he definitely picked the foot up there. A lot of times you'll get a no call on that one. Hemish in the corner for Kraus. His three, he missed everything over the top, and the backside rebound is pulled down by Brown. Pushing it into the forecourt now on the dribble is Inkster. And he dumped it on the right side, and an offensive foul called as Ben Inkster went up over the top of Joe Hemish. Inkster's... It's Inkster's second personal. That's the first in the half on either team. 5.45 remaining here in the third quarter, and Sparby has it up on top. Feeds on the right side for Kraus. Back to Sparby. He's dribbling between the circles. Very patient. Now up on top for Hamish. Back to Sparby on the wing. Three-pointer is good. Well, I tell you what, that's what the Spartans need. They need him involved in the offense. He has six now. 42-33. Recoria has scored seven of the nine points scored here in the half. And they lead at 42-31. They've gone on top by nine. They've led by as many as 10. On the left wing with it now is Zook up on top for lateral. Feeds it to Weber in the paint. Moved down the lane. He traveled. No call. And Sparby pulled down the rebound. Either had to be a travel or a foul on Sparby. No call either way. Left side Hemish. Up on top Sparby. Long free. Oh, that looks like it was good all the way from our angle, but it was long over the top. And the rebound is pulled down by Inkster. I had the lateral on the right wing. Feeds it back up on top for Inkster. He kicks it left side. Zook, 19-footer, was blocked by a running Scott Hondo. It came to the Tigers, though, and Aljo fed it to Inkster, and he laid it in. Ben Inkster has 11, 42-35, Ricori by 7. Boy, Tech just won't go away in this game. Ricori has tried to put surges on, but the Tigers always are able to close the floodgates. Hemish on the left wing for Hondo. Back up on top for Hemish. Right side for Sparby. Sparby starts it in. Threw it to Hondo in the corner. Couldn't catch it, but a foul was called as Sparby delivered the pass. Let's see who they call the personal on. It's going to go against Aljo. That's his first. Two and a half on Tech. Gordy Brown will check in now, replacing Adam Zook for the Tigers. Brown, lateral, Inkster, Aljo, and Weber on the floor for the Tigers. Starting five for Ricori, Schreiner, Hemish, Handel, Sparby, and Kraus. Kip has it up on top between the circles. Now he dribbles to the right wing. Into the corner for Kraus. Back up on top now for Sparby. Left side, Hemish. In the corner for Schreiner. They play the perimeter, trying to get Handel open down low. Now penetrating is Hemish. Kicks it out for Sparby. His three-pointer is long. Rebound is tapped up, and a foul is called on Hemish. Joe went over the back. Good call. That's two on him. First in the half on Ricori. Tech trailing by seven will inbound in the backcourt with 4.03 remaining here in the third quarter. Lateral has it. Now he leaves it in the backcourt for Inkster. Back to lateral as they break the pressure. Kind of a receding pressure by the Spartans. Lateral has it up on top. Bounces to the left wing. Caught by Brown. Back to lateral. Now to Inkster. Back up on top for Steve Lateral. Over to Brown. 25-footer. It's good for three. Well, I tell you what, he picked his name up there. Downtown Gordy Brown. He has nine in the ball game, all on threes. That was a three-pointer in any league. 42-38. Spartan lead is down to four. Back to Kraus. Now on the baseline. Up on top for Sparby. Kicks it out to Hemish on the left wing. Into Hondo. Corner. His three-pointer is good. Scott Hondo having a good ball game. He has 18 points. 45-38. A seven-point lead for Ricori. Down low, Weber. Tried to kick it out. Got it to lateral. Left side, Brown. His three is good. And he was fouled. 
Cody Brown from 23 feet, and he was fouled. He'll have a shot at a four-point play. will go against him, or rather Hondel. That's his second, two and a half on Ricori. Cross will sit down now as Gabe Dahl comes in. Brown has a dozen in the ballgame, all on three-pointers. And the left-hander's free throw is good. 13 points as he completes the four-point play and pulls Tech within three at 45-42. That's the closest they've been since about the midway mark of the second quarter. Barbie has it up on top. Kicks it in the corner now for Hondo. His three hit the side of the backboard, but Dahl kept it alive for Ricori. Out to Sparby, to Hondo. Drives the baseline. Kick out for Sparby. Had the open three and didn't take it. Kip dribbling up on top. Leaves it further out now for Gabe Dahl. Gabe picked up his dribble and he threw it away. Spartans throw it away. Turnover on Ricori. Tech will inbound in the backcourt. Neil Fish in now, replacing Ben Inkster. 45-42 with Curry on top by three, but Tech with the ball and a chance to cut further into that margin. Up on top, Brown, 27-footer. That one was short. We finally found where his range goes. It's not 27, but the rebound was tapped out of bounds by Ricori, and it will stay with Tech. He can hit it from 25, not from 27. We found the mark. Man, way up on top now for lateral. Right side for Fish. He has it outside the arc, bounces it to lateral. His 17-footer is too hard off the glass, and the rebound is pulled down by Sparby. Kip Sparby, the point guard, is the second leading rebounder for Ricori, and he brings it into the forecourt. On the left wing for Handel. Up on top for Dahl, now to Sparby. Dribbling just inside the arc, now backs it out and leaves it for Dahl. High post Schreiner, into the corner for Hemish. Three-pointer, won't go, but he was fouled. He's going to get three free throws. That one was almost down, it just rimmed out and he'll be at the line to shoot three. Foul's going to go again. Neil Fish. Two on Fish, three and a half on Tech. Hemish will be at the line to shoot three free throws. Nine points in the ballgame for Joe Hemish. All of those came in the second quarter. He missed the first free throw, so the Spartans are now 0-2 from the free throw line. Joe Hemish is a 78% free thrower. Of the starting five, that's the leading percentage for Ricori. He hits the second one. Spartans are just shooting 71% from the free throw line. That's not a great percentage. Joe missed the third one, so he just got one of the three, 46-42. Ricori's on top by four. Under two minutes to play here, third quarter. Bounce pass right side, caught by Brown. We have a whistle away from the play, and Kelly Weber is going to be whistled for his fourth personal foul. And it's calling for pushing off to get position down low. Weber has drawn his fourth, and that's four and a half on Tech. For Corey inbounds now in the backcourt. Gabe Dahl will operate up on top. It's going to be Joe Courier to check into the ballgame for Tech. Dahl has it up on top, feeds it for Hamish. Now Dahl with it away from the basket, lobs it to Honda. Honda high post, starts it down the lane through traffic, and he drew number five, I believe, on Weber. Before they could get Weber out of the ball game, he picked up, no, wait a minute. Oh, it is going to be double zero. Weber just picked up his fifth personal. They couldn't get him out of the ball game in time, and Kelly Weber has fouled out with 138 remaining in the third quarter. So he leaves with three points in the ball game, and that is a key blow to the Tigers. Now Courier is into the game for Corey inbound. That's five and a half now on Tech. Sparby has it on the left side, up on top for Dahl. Gabe, left wing, or rather right wing for Hemish, down low to Schreiner, baseline 15-footer, short off the iron, and a foul as Dahl went over the back on the rebound. Gabe Dahl crashing to the boards, went over the back. That is his second, three and a half on Ricori. Inbound in the backcourt now for Tech with a minute 25 remaining here in the third quarter. Ricori trying to stay on top in the Central Lakes Conference. They lead at 46-42. They've led by as many as 10. Fish has it up on top. These two teams now playing for the third time this season. Ricori winning the first two, once in the Granite City Classic, and then before the Christmas break, they won at Tech. Fish has it up on top. His three-pointer might have been partially deflected by Hamish, but the long rebound comes out to Brown. 25-footer, that one short off the iron, and Hamish pulled down the rebound. 
So Gordy Brown has suddenly gone cold, and Ricori comes back the other way. Farby has it up on top. Now he leaves it for Dahl. Into the corner now for Farby. Back up on top for Dahl. Right side for Hamish. 40 seconds remaining in the quarter. Hamish, runner from 10, is short off the iron, and the rebound is pulled down by Courier. Tech will go for one shot with 35 seconds remaining in the quarter. They could pull it within two or within one with a three-pointer. Under a half a minute to play here in period number three. Up on top with it, Steve Lateral is dribbling on the bottom of the center circle. Ricori's not coming out, so he'll just stand there until there's about 10 seconds remaining. Spartan third in the 2-3 zone. Lateral has it up on top. Now down to 10 seconds. They'll start to move. Still dribbling up on top. Feeds it into Fish. Fish moving the paint. 13 foot and no good. Rebound is tied up, and that will go over to Tech on the alternate possession. Tech will maintain with 3.1 seconds remaining in the quarter. They'll get an inbound from the baseline, and let's see if they try to set Gordy Brown up for a tray at the horn. Up on top for Brown. He takes one dribble. Him is blocked the shot. So Brown will go to the free throw line with three cell with 0.9 seconds remaining. He'll go to the line to shoot three. going to say it doesn't really take a rocket scientist to figure they were going to look for Gordy Brown there. So Brown is at the line to shoot three. Free throw is up and that one is no good. 0.9 seconds remaining on the clock. That would be enough for LaCroix to throw up a prayer. He could throw a long pass if Brown makes the third free throw. He missed the first one. Second one is good. The other one looks like it was going to rim out but it went down. So Brown has 14 points. It's a three-point McCory lead, and Gordy with one more free throw. That one is short. Rebound for Aljo, and the putback is no good at the buzzer. Aljo missed the tap. L. and Riotti Campo open up the fourth quarter, so that means after the inbound, the possession arrow belongs to Tech. Ricori, or rather, Tech has three timeouts remaining. Ricori has four remaining. Kelly Weber has fouled out of the ball game. Nobody else is in foul trouble, and neither team in the bonus yet. Now with Corey penetrating in, the ball goes down low to Schreiner, and he is fouled on the play by Gordy Brown. That is Brown's first. That is six and a half now on Tech, so on the next foul, Corey will go to the stripe. Spartans have committed four personals here in the half. Farby will inbound. And they're going to get him in the ball game? Uh, no, they're not. They presented the ball to Sparby as uh, trying to get in with Inkster. They won't get him in now. Krause, left side, Hondo, 19 footer as he stepped on the arc. Good. Good. Scott Hondo has 20 points in the game. He's averaging just under 19, and it's a five point Ricori lead. Let's see if the Spartans step it up. Now Fish sets a great screen in the backcourt to get Krause off lateral. Lateral has it on the left wing, gets in trouble, and hands it off to Fish. Spartans uh, extending that 2-3 zone. They might have gone man-to-man -man here. Looks like they have. Down low, Aljo. Kick out for lateral. One dribble. Back to Aljo. Got it back as he lost it on the tip. Gets it out top for Fish. Fakes a three-pointer. Feeds down low. Aljo found him alone in the bank. Of the Aljo has eight points in the ballgame. Back to a three-point lead. 48-45 with 7.05 remaining. Boy, they're never easy in the Central Lakes Conference. In the corner, it goes to Sparby. Up on top for Dahl. High post for Hondel. 17-footer from there won't go. Rebound is loose on the floor and tracked down by Kraus. So the Spartans keep it alive. Good hustle by Kraus. He gives it to Dahl. Back to Kraus and back to Dahl. Corner for Sparby. Fake the three. Got it down low to Schreiner. In traffic, he's double teamed. Kicked it out to Dahl in the high post, and the Spartans will reset again. Kraus on the left wing. Now to Dahl. High post Hondel. In traffic. Feeds in the lane to Schreiner, and he was fouled on the pass by Courier. Joe Courier picks up his first personal, and this will be free throws for Wayne Schreiner. Ben Inkster will check back in now for Tech. 6.33 remaining. Ricori 48, Tech 45, and free throws coming for the Spartans. Lateral, Inkster, Fish, Brown, and Aljo on the floor for Tech. It's Handel, Kraus, Dahl, Barbie, and the free throw shooter, Wayne Schreiner. Wayne will shoot one plus the bonus. Spartans are just one of four from the free throw line in this game. We've seen 13 three-pointers in this one, eight of them by Tech. Wayne is averaging 
just under eight points a ball game. He missed the free throw. Rebound is capped out, though. Kept alive by Dahl to Kraus. So Ricori will maintain possession up by three. Dahl has it up on top. He goes on the right side for Kraus. Back to Gabe Dahl between the circles. Now he feeds it high post for Schreiner. Kick out for Kraus. Up on top for Dahl. On the left wing it goes to Sparby. Now back to Dahl. Right side for Kraus. Spartans very patient on offense with 6'10 remaining. Sparby has it up on top. Right side for Dahl. In the corner it goes for Jimmy Kraus. Now back to Dahl. Up on top for Sparby. They're just going to play the perimeter. Try to get a post player open inside. Schreiner has it on the left wing. Now to Dahl. Dahl. High post Schreiner. 16 footer. That won't go. And the rebound is tracked down by Tech. Inkster pulling down the board for the Tigers. And he leaves it for lateral in the backcourt. Lateral. Right side, Inkster penetrating in. His shot was rejected by Schreiner, and then Wayne came in from out of bounds to pick it up, so the ball will stay with Tech. Schreiner stood up on defense and rejected it. He came down out of bounds, and he didn't plant inbounds before he touched the ball again. Inbound underneath the basket for the Tigers. And it comes down low for Inkster, and he bumps and then banks it in. Inkster has 15 points, and it's down to a one-point Ricori lead now, 48-47 Spartans with five and a half minutes to play. Sparby has it up on top for Dahl. Bobs it in the corner for Kraus. Now to Sparby left wing. Three-pointer. That rimmed out, but Dahl got the rebound for the Spartans. Long rebounds coming down to Ricori. Now Kraus, one dribble. His three-pointer is good. Jim Kraus has five points. That's a key bucket. 52-4, 51-47 rather. Spartans by four. Now lateral. Up on top, 16-footer is good, and he was fouled by Sparby. Three-point play opportunity coming for Steve Lateral and Tech. Sparby's third personal, five and a half on Ricori. Lateral has five in the game. Hamish will replace Dahl for the Spartans, and a timeout called by Ricori. 5.02 remaining. Now Steve Lateral at the line after the Ricori timeout. He can pull Tech within one with 5.02 remaining. Tech trailed by 10 midway through the second quarter. Set free throw is no good. They've gotten as close as one, and now the pass is stolen away by Inkster. He feeds it to Aljo, and then he threw it away to Jim Crowd. Tech gave it right back to Ricori after the good play was made by Inkster in the backcourt. Sparby into the forecourt. On the right wing, it goes for Kraus against the 2-3 zone. Back to Sparby up on top. High post for Handel. Steps outside the arc, feeds it to Sparby. In the corner for Hemish. Back to Sparby up on top. Handel, three-pointer. Short off the bracket, and the rebound is cleared by Steve Lateral. He pushes it ahead. Left wing for Fish, and he travels. Neal says no way, but that was a good call. He took the extra step before he came stopped, and the ball goes over to McCory. Now Sparby into the forecourt, holds two fingers aloft to call the play for Ricori. Kraus has it on the right wing. Now Sparby on the left side for Hamish. Down low, Hondo, and he put it in. He, was he never came down. He took the feed in the air, put it off the glass and in, and he was fouled. He has 22 points and a shot at the three-point play. The foul will go against Aljo, and that is his second. Handel at the line to try to complete the three-point play. The Spartans have not shot well from the line. They are one of five from the stripe, and Handel is 0 for 1. This one is up and in. Three-point play for Scott Handel. He has 23 points to lead all scorers in the game, and McCurry's back on top by five. Now they'll apply some pressure in the backcourt. Inkster with it, ahead to lateral, into the forecourt on the right wing. Brings it back up on top, bounces it left wing where it's caught by Brown. He looked at the three, took one dribble, now pops the three, and it's long. And Sparty wrestles for the rebound on the floor, out of bounds, last touch by Sparty. He was battling along with Neil Fish. Neil Fish is going to play Division II football at St. Cloud State. And that looked like they both diving for the fumble. Sparty hit it last, out of bounds, and will go over to Tech. Fish has it up on top now. Here comes the lateral. 2-3 zone for Latore, 3.50 remaining, 5-point Spartan lead. Lateral, up on top now for Brown, back to lateral, right corner for Fish. Starts it in, kicks it out to lateral, he penetrates, kick out for Brown, 25 feet away, that doesn't mean you're safe. Lateral has it now, right side for Inkster. 
to Lateral. Left side, Brown. Crosses out on him quickly. Now up on top, it comes for Lateral. Lateral, penetrates, kicks it back out. Cross court pass for Brown. Three-pointer over Hondo. That one missed everything. Fish, backside rebound. Put back, won't go in traffic. And the rebound is capped away. And it comes away to Wayne Schreiner. Man, it's tough underneath that hoop. Barbie brings it into the forecourt with 3-10 remaining. Barton by five. Out to Kraus. Now back to Sparby. In the corner for Hamish. Back to Sparby. Hondo trying to get loose in the low post. Sparby still has it up on top. Kip dribbling outside the arc. Now spins on the dribble. Starts it in. Lobs it in the corner for Hamish. Touch pass down low. Hondo. Brought it down. Turn around in the paint. It's good. Hondo has 25 points. 13 in the first half. A dozen here in the second 16 minutes, 56-47, with Corey back on top by seven with 2.40 remaining. Man, watch Gordy Brown, because he'll try to come open for the three. Lateral has it up on top. Right wing for Brown, faces the basket, bounces it to Fish. Back to Lateral, now Brown kicked out, got the screen, three-pointer, good. Boy, they set that up nice with the screen. He has five threes in the game, 17 in the ball game. 56-52, with Corey on top by four, 2.15 remaining. Up on top with it now is Sparby. A lot of gamesmanship going on. Kraus lobs it down low for Schreiner. In the corner for Kraus. His two-pointer won't go. Rebound is tapped around. Battered around and finally a foul called on tap. Foul on the Tigers in that scrum in the middle. It's going to go against Ben Inkster. That's his third. We'll get free throws now for the Spartans. As Sam Bugby is going to check back in now for Tech. Again, for the three-point shooting, I would guess. Now, they're going to rule that as a two-pointer now, the one that uh, was taken by Brown. So that is his first two-point field goal of the ball game, And it's 56-51. It's a five-point game. Brown has 16 points. Hemish will be at the line to shoot one plus the bonus. Brown will sit down now as Bugby comes into the game, and Scott Henches will check in now, replacing Neil Fish. Scott Henches also on his way to play football at St. Cloud State. Henches also recently the co-recipient of the Marv Faber Volunteer Award presented by the St. Cloud Area United Way. Free throw by Hemish wins out, so the lead is still five, and Tech has the ball. Minute 55 remaining. Lateral. Into the forecourt on the dribble, bounces the right side where it's caught by Henches. Now to lateral, left side for Bugby, lateral up on top. Starts it in. Now to Henches, down low to Inkster, moving on Sparby, got it down low, missed the shot, rebound capped away by Schreiner. Here come the Spartans. Tech wanted a foul call down low, nothing coming, Sparby has it up on top. Lobs it corner for Krause, three-pointer is good. Jim Krause has so much confidence, he stands the three, he has eight in the ball game. And now the Tigers throw it away in the backcourt, and McCoy has the ball and an eight-point lead with a minute 23 remaining. Jim Kraus, a senior tri-captain, stepped up and canned the three from the corner. McCoy inbounds now, up by eight. Barbie has it up on top. Over to Kraus on the wing, way away from the basket. Jim dribbling out there. He'll wait for the pressure to come. Minute 15 remaining, an eight-point lead for Ricori. Kraus hands it off to Sparby. Sparby dribbling on the right side is followed by Henches on the reach in. That's Scott's first. And Sparby will go to the line to shoot one plus the bonus. He has six points in the ballgame. All of those coming on a couple of three-pointers. Now a change as Gordy Brown will check back in for Tech, and he's going to replace Steve Lateral. So they've got the three-point shooters out there now in Bugby, Henches, and... Gordy Brown and Ricori will call a timeout. 108 remaining, 59-51. This being 59-51. Tech has three timeouts remaining, Ricori two. As it came out of the floor, it looked as if Scott Henches went up to one of the officials and says, if we make something on the other end, we're going to call timeout immediately, so please watch for it. Sparby at the line to shoot one plus the bonus. Free throw is good. He has seven in the game. If he hits this one, it would make it a 10-point ball game, which makes it a four-possession game. It also match the Spartans' biggest lead. He led it by four, or by 10, way back at 35-25. He makes both of them. Party has eight points in the ball game, 61-51. Ricori has opened up a 10-point lead. Henches 
On the right side for Bugby. Now to Hanches. Tech will have to put the ball on Bugby to Hanches. They need a lot of points. Bugby on the right wing in the corner for Brown. Brown will fire three. That one's short. Rebound tapped out to Hanches. He'll go outside the arc. Now starts it in. Kick out for Bugby. His three. That is long off the rim. And Hamish got the rebound. And then he fouled in the backcourt by Brown. That is two on Brown with 40 seconds remaining. 61-51. We'll walk to the other end for free throws. And we'll be back in 30 seconds on Oldies 94.9. Sorry about that. I tried to sneak one in. That's all right. Yeah, and then the kid missed the free throw, too, so we're playing again. That was my fault. Make this a minute. Make this a minute. Joe Hemish missed his free throw, then Tech missed his shot, and then Wayne Schreiner was fouled. He missed his free throw, but the rebound was tapped out of bounds. Stayed with Ricori, and now on the inbound, Schreiner puts it up no good, but he was fouled, and so he'll be at the line to shoot two. Ricori really has shot horridly at the free throw line in this one. The Spartans are just 7 of 11 by my count. My, my, my apologies, 4 of 11. Now, Hondo is going to leave the ball game, as will Hamish and Sparby. They get a good round of applause. Dahl, Boucher, and Carlson all back in for Ricori. Hondo finishes with 25 points in the ball game. Free throw by Schreiner is good. He has nine. Hamish finishes with 10. And Sparby ends the night with eight for Ricori. 62-51, 29.2 seconds remaining. Schreiner's second free throw is short, and the Tigers pull down the rebound. Cleared by Aljo, and he feeds it ahead to Bugby. Left side for Inkster. Three-pointer was blocked by Carlson, and then he lost it out of bounds, so it will stay with Tech. Al Andrade wanting the foul call on that play with 20.6 seconds remaining. Aljo inbounds in the corner to Bugby. Drives the baseline, kick out for Inkster. Three-pointer, that won't go. Backside rebound batted around. Bugby got it. He tried to put it up, but he was fouled by Schreiner. That is Schreiner's first personal. That is just six and a half on Ricori. Kurt Lutkin's going to check in for the first time for the Spartans, and he'll replace Wayne Schreiner. Wayne will get a nice hand if he sits down with nine points. And now Joel Torborg is going to check into the game for Ricori. Torborg, the 5'11 junior, will replace Jim Krause. So all five starters on the bench now. Krause leaves with eight points. 25 for Handel, 10 for Hemish, 9 for Schreiner, and 8 each for Kraus and Sparby. Free throw by Bugby is good. So Sam has 4 points in the ballgame, chance to make it 5. 12.8 seconds remaining. And now we have a whistle. And I'm not sure what the deal was. We had a lane violation on Tech, so the second free throw won't count. For Corey will inbound with 12.8 seconds remaining. Up by 10. Ball game is over. It's just a matter of the final score. In the backcourt, Lutkin lost it, got it back, and they'll call in for double dribble or traveling or something like that. You can't throw it ahead to yourself. That's for sure. <laughs> I don't imagine you want your 6-7 guy handling the ball against the press in most cases. Six seconds remaining. Bugby will fire a three. That's off the rim and then in, but it won't count as it hit the basket support and came down. So Bugby got the bounce, a little bit too perfect to bounce, and with .7 seconds remaining, Ricoy will inbound. They won't even shoot it, and the Spartans stay on top.